Hare Krishna. If we don't fix the broken doors in our consciousness, we will be robbed. Suppose we have a home where some door is broken and a thief has come in and robbed from there. Naturally, the first thing we would do if we have been robbed is to fix that door. And even if we have not been robbed, as soon as we know that the door is broken, we know there's always the possibility of some of someone coming and robbing and that's why we would make it high priority to fix the broken door. We all reside within the territory of our consciousness and our consciousness has many broken doors. Broken doors means that, that if we consider the senses, these are like the doors to the body. Krishna talks about this Navadware Pure De Naiva Kurvan Karayan. In the fifth chapter, in the thirteenth verse, he talks about how Sarva Karmani Manasa Sanyasyaste Sukhambashi Navadware Pure Dehi Naiva Kurvan Karayan. So he says that it, it's a, the, the body is like a city with multiple gates. So he's referring primarily through the nine holes in the body. Krishna also talks about this later in 14.11 when he says, Sarvadware shudehe smin prakasha upajayate gyanam yadat da vidyad vivruddham sattvamityuta. So he says that actually all the gates of the gates of the doors to the body need to be illuminated with knowledge. That means that not only should the doors be fixed properly and then secured, there should also be security lights so that if any, any intruder is coming, we can detect and protect ourselves from them. So how do we do this? That is where we need to cultivate knowledge. Otherwise, if we don't have knowledge, then our doors are broken. That means anyone can slip into the, the, through the door. So when we are in the lower modes of passion and ignorance, when we are very materialistic, then anything that seems pleasurable, we just take it in through our senses undiscerningly, just because it seems pleasurable. And inside, it may go and contaminate our consciousness, it may degrade us. So ultimately, our morality, our spirituality, even our humanity can be robbed by stray desires that come within and drag and degrade us making us do things which you would never do. So this kind of uh, degradation of our consciousness and uh, our being dragged down into reprehensible actions will surely happen if we don't fix the broken doors in our consciousness. Now, which doors are broken? That we have to do introspection to find ourselves. We have to see which are the ways in which we become tempted uh, most often. So for example, for somebody who is an alcoholic, the eye, the eye door is broken whenever they see a, a bar or a bottle, immediately they are captivated. So for some, like that, we have to find out which are the doors that are broken and we need to fix them. We need to make sure that we have the light of knowledge always flashing over there uh, so that as soon as some temptation comes we recognize it as a danger not as a pleasure and then especially we if we protect ourselves with knowledge then we also have the knowledge to take shelter of our lord of krishna and he when we bring him into our consciousness and bring him in our senses he will guard our senses with his omnipotence thank you Hare Krishna.